Problem number 133. A cylindrical steel pressure vessel, 400 mm in diameter, with a wall thickness of 20 mm, is subjected to an internal pressure of 4.5 MN per meter squared. Isulat natin lahat ng given sa problem. First is the diameter of the pressure vessel, which is 400 mm. Since hindi stated sa problem kung inside or outside diameter yung given sa problem, by default, we can assume that this is the inside diameter of the pressure vessel. The wall thickness of the vessel is 20 mm. And the internal pressure is 4.5 mega newton per meter squared or mega pascal. Letter A, calculate the tangential stress and the longitudinal stress of the pressure vessel. Tangential stress is same as the hoop stress and the circumferential stress given by the formula PD over 2T. T is the internal pressure which is given 4.5 megapascal or newton per millimeter squared. D is the inside diameter of the pressure vessel, which is 400 mm. Over 2T, T is the thickness of the pressure vessel, 20 mm. All the values in the formula are given, therefore directly ikakalculate na lang natin kung ano yung value ng tangential stress. Makakancel out yung millimeter sa equation, and the value of tangential stress is equal to 45 newton per millimeter squared or megapascal. Next is the longitudinal stress. The given formula for the longitudinal stress is equal to PD over 40. P is the internal pressure which is 4.5 newton per millimeter squared. D is the inside diameter 400 millimeter. All over 40. T is the thickness of the pressure vessel, which is 20 mm. Maka-cancel out yung millimeter sa equation. By direct calculation, the longitudinal stress is equal to 22.50 newton per millimeter squared or megapascal. Letter B. To what value may the internal pressure be increased if the stress in the steel is limited to 120 mega newton per meter squared or mega pascal? Hanggang anong value daw na internal pressure yung pwedeng dalhin ng bezel kung yung steel stress is limited to 120 mega pascal? Take note that for cylindrical bezel ay meron tayong dalawang klase ng stress, the tangential stress and the longitudinal stress. Since hindi sinabi sa problem kung yung stress na given is the tangential stress or the longitudinal stress, therefore, we will analyze the vessel in the critical section. Paano natin malalaman kung alin yung critical section? pag natin yung formula ng tangential stress at ng longitudinal stress. The tangential stress given by the formula PD over 2T while the longitudinal stress given by the formula PD over 40. By comparing these two formula, we can conclude that the tangential stress is twice the longitudinal stress. And it shows that tangential stress is much critical compared to longitudinal stress. Kaya yung tangential stress yung ating ia-analyze. By considering the critical section, we will analyze the bezel based on the tangential stress. The formula for the tangential stress is equal to PD over 2T. The stress given is 120 megapascal or newton per millimeter squared is equal to the unknown pressure multiplied by the inside diameter 400 millimeter all over 2T. T is 20 mm. Maka-cancel out yung millimeter sa equation. And the internal pressure is equal to 12 megapascal.
hanggang 12 megapascal lang yung internal pressure na kayang dalhin ng cylindrical vessel. Kasi kapag nag-increase pa yung internal pressure sa 12 megapascal, ay magbe-burst na or masisira yung cylindrical vessel. At yun yung tanong sa letter C. If the internal pressure were increased until the vessel burst, sketch the type of fracture that would occur. Sa explanation natin kanina, ito yung tangential stress na nag act sa longitudinal section ng cylindrical vessel. And this is the expected fracture when internal pressure is increased until the vessel burst. 